talk about regular expressions, or in short, regex. So what is a regex? It's a sequence of characters that define a search pattern. So it's a bit like our EBNF, but more sophisticated. It's quite useful for string manipulation. So you can use it for string replacements to say, I, I want to search for this pattern and now replace this pattern with this part of the pattern plus something else. So in this context, we say a match is a text that, that the search pattern matches. Okay, so if you find something in a string that you look for in this pattern, the search pattern, that is a match. So here are some basic examples of regular expressions. Hope you have a you now something day. Okay, so you could say, for example, I hope you have a good or hope you have a nice, hope you have a George's day. So one of those three words basically must be placed here, but it doesn't matter which one. The regular expression will match if it finds one of those three words, otherwise, it tries to literally match this kind of string. Then here we have something like dot star ing. Here you match basically everything that ends with an ing. Okay. Here we have um, start question mark y, which matches st start stu. The question mark means zero or one time. So we may either stu y or study. Both match. Here we have the language of all binary numbers. That's quite simple here, right? Compared to the uh, definition of the formal language. And here we have a parenthesis with the characters A to Z inside. Okay, um, you can use this to build more sophisticated expressions. For example, an arithmetic expression can be matched using this one over here. So you can get something like 1 times 2 plus minus 4, um, which would work, which would be recognized and matched by this regex, which is rather sophisticated. So by these examples, I, show, I explained a little bit what those um, different char special characters do. So of course, as this is a, reg a regular expression, it's kind of a definition of what we try to match. It has to use, again, our characters, special characters, to express certain patterns. And the basics are described here. So you have a wildcard character like a dot, which matches any character. The pipe symbol is or separates alternatives. Yeah. So we remember when we had here good, nice, if we said good or nice or George's day. Then we could use the brackets to group strings together. Something like male or female matches either the string male or female. Then we could quantify how often we want to a character or group to be repeated. Question mark means zero one time. Star means any number of times, could be zero times. Plus means at least one time. And you can have more arcane things like you can say at least n times, but less than m times, which I rarely use. But, you know, it's there for completion. A range of alternatives is quite useful. So with these uh, brackets here, we can say we want any character that's listed here. So it's Z and A up to Z. In uppercase, one of these characters matches. You can use also the hyphen here to negate the selection, which matches, means not any of those characters listed here. So if you need to escape one of those meta characters, you need to use the backslash. So backslash plus matches the plus literally. Okay, so you have to escape those meta characters. Now we can use the regular expressions to replace a string. There is functions like regex replace. Some here we can say a to z lowercase or a to z uppercase in these brackets plus times. That means we remember any lowercase character or uppercase character followed by an ing. Probably, if we want to replace that with a gerund as a string, yeah, we can we can do that. That means we search and replace any words ending with ing, and replace them with gerund in our text. So that's quite powerful. 
So sometimes what you want to do is you want to replace um, text that you match with the part of the match pattern itself. And so you can refer to the previously announced groups using backslash one means here the first group. Backslash i means the i-th group. For example, here we have the same rec express place on the left hand side just now with the, our um, brackets to indicate that basically this is a group and now we, we want to replace this group followed by ing okay, with backslash 1 which means with the content of the group. So basically it gets rid of all the ing if it finds a word that is suffixed with ing.